Silver rings in her ears, silver chain in her neck, silver bangles on her wrists, and silver anklets on her ankles. Wearing a full sleeved shirt rounding the edge of her black sari around her neck, tired of managing her locks falling over her face, the little girl who stood before me that day brought back a flood of memories of my childhood Razia when I reached her village that day all of a sudden. Yes, those were my childhood days. I had just returned home from school, gambling like a lamb, broken free from a butcher's rope, and thrown my bag and slate on the cot. I was eager to relish a tempura <coughs> made by my aunt and enjoy singing on the paddy crusher when I heard a voice. Be watchful. Don't touch Babua's knee. As I turned towards the voice, I saw a strangely beautiful girl standing two, three yards away from me. <coughs> For me, such a beauty was really unique. I lived in a traditional Hindu locality. There was no dearth of girls in my village, but they never wore such clothes, nor did they have such features or complexion. Where do girls in my village wear earrings? Nor have I ever seen them wearing such full sleeve shirts. Fair complexion girls could be seen, but where will one find such strange blue eyes? And the entire profile of the face was so attractive that I kept on staring at her constantly.